very simple clips, nothing, nothing really crazy to, to write home about. But again, the importance of thinking a step ahead um, and just going hard to cage. I can tell you Northwestern is a pretty hard team to score goals against 77. And those, those three goals right there were made to look pretty easy, you know, three v three, four v four settings. So that's why we want to push um, and you see how much space and room um, that those players are working with. Um, just a couple of keys, all right, things that we talk about a lot, and we're going to um, address some of these, probably, you know, not all of them at length, um, but just some things that, that you want to consider when you're talking about, um, you know, clearing in general, but, but fast and slow breaks. Um, stick work is the key to everything. You know, my team probably gets sick of me saying we can't score goals if we can't catch and throw. And um, that is true in a 77 setting. It is true in a, uh, in a fast break setting. You might have the best formation in the world. You might get into your perfect spots, but if you don't have the fundamentals to catch and throw and not only catch and throw perfect passes, but catch and throw passes that aren't perfect, you know, have to reach for it, whatever, you have to have good stick work. And we, um, we do this, we do a lot. We do a lot of fundamentals, um, a lot of transition drills in, in big concepts and within a, you know, man up, um, smaller, smaller setting as well. So I think that's just with everything. It's something I preach. I know Katrina, you know, preaches at, at Carolina when she was there. And um, it's just, it's so, so important. Um, reaction out of D I've already talked about. Um, this, this third point, you know, you saw in those last few clips, you have to have an aggressive mentality and that's going to start from the coaches. You know, if, if players are afraid to attack the goal, then you're not going to have a good transition game. And again, that may change game to game. It might be in the scouting report that, hey, guys, we're, we're not focusing on transition. We're focusing on getting the ball and having longer possessions. And you're only going if, if we tell you that you are. Um, but I think with that aggressive mentality, and, and Katrina and I were talking about this the other day, and I kind of loved the point that she, she said was, you, with that aggra aggressive mentality, if you're going to push transition, you have to be, as a coach, um, willing to accept that mistakes are going to happen and turnovers are going to happen. You're not going to be perfect. So if, if players are going down and they're pushing transition and doing the right thing and doing what you ask and they shoot a goal high to high in the goalie stick or they drop a pass and they're in the right spot and they're, they're doing everything correctly, but they just, you know, make a mistake. You can't get on them about it. You know, it's got to be positive. You got to be, you know, all the right things. We'll get the next one. And I think th that's really, really crucial. Um, Otherwise, they're just going to go cold. They're going to go into their shells. You know, that transition game is going to go away pretty quickly. Um, you know, a big part of, of being successful in your, in your fast break is that anticipation upfield. I don't know if, uh, you know, you may have noticed it in one of those clips, but that anticipation for me to see what's going on with the ball carrier and move myself into a position that's going to be more beneficial to my team rather than just standing and watching. And anticipation is so big in lacrosse in general thinking two steps ahead rather than just, just watching. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go back and actually play this clip. If you watch the first one, um, the girl who ends up scoring the goal, I want you guys to, to watch her change of speed once she realizes we get the ball off the draw. Um, I'll, I'll kind of pause it and talk it through it. But. 